Welcome to this episode of the Heart of the Matter. Today we're talking money, money mobile money. And, and with me today as our guest is Mr. Tayo Viosu, who is the Chief Executive Officer of PAGA, a mobile money company. Um, Mr. Viosu, you're welcome to the Heart of the Matter. Pastor, thank you very much for having me here today. What is mobile money? Most people think of money as Naira and mm -hmm. Cobo. So what, what is mobile money? Mobile money refers to um, having your cash electronically available to you, um, whether you're online or using your mobile phone. Okay. So essentially it is putting legal tender in electronic form okay. accessible to you from any internet connected device. Okay, so, so if your phone is connected to the internet, you can have money on your phone. Exactly. So it's not even about the money being on the phone itself. Okay. It's the money being in a central electronic store. So Paga, okay. as an example, um, has a full-fledged accounting system, okay. similar to any bank, that um, can say, okay, Pastor has this amount of money, Tayo has this amount of money in it electronically, and you can spend it. So the, it's all about connectivity. To, okay. So if it's, you know, you can access from a phone, you can access from a computer, you can access from an iPad, any connected device okay. will give you access to your money. What is the advantage of mobile money? The advantages are numerous. Um, the most obvious advantage is the convenience with which it comes. So if I am carrying with me um, 100,000 Naira in cash, you know, even with the abada you're wearing, people yeah. will sort of get the sense yeah. something is weighing you down. <laughs> Um, and so, but on the other hand, you know, nobody knows when I have the money electronically, how much I have. Um, so there's a convenience and safety factor that it brings. And there's also the additional fact that it allows you to transact without leaving where you are. Okay. So with Paga today, I can sit, um, I like to joke with people, I can sit in the toilet and pay my DSTV okay. or send money to my mother um, and not leave the toilet, right? Um, and so it's the convenience it brings to give you access to your cash anywhere you are and anytime. Okay, what about security? The, the, the insecurity that goes along with carrying cash? Sure. Um, security is a, big, is a big issue, right? Because um, a lot of people, when you carry cash with you, then you're a target. I mean, I've had situations where people I've paid in cash got in the bus and the money got stolen from them. Or, we, or many people in Nigeria who own, who own businesses have situations where people, they're getting paid cash and then people come and actually, thieves come and potentially steal, steal money. Um, so we've created, if you look business to business, to business, many processes have been created to try and protect cash. Um, and this is all due to the insecurity of ca having cash on you. Now, by allowing your customers to transact electronically with you, then you have less cash on you and it makes it easier for you to have your money and get your money to the bank. So similarly for individuals, so security both for ind individuals but also businesses as well as a big, as a big issue. How widespread is mobile money today? Yeah. 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 It is, um, we're growing very well. Um, it's hard, the CBN does not yet release the total numbers of the industry. So I can only share Paga's, Paga's numbers. Um, as of this morning, we had about 891,000 users on okay. Paga. Um, 891,000, that's close to a million. We're, we are, God willing, we'll hit a million in November um, okay. at the rate of we are, at which we're growing. Um, currently, what we see is that every minute... we got one more customer. we got one more customer, great. <laughs> um, we, well, currently, what we see is that every minute, 10 people are transacting on Paga. Okay. Um, and just a few months ago, that was eight. Okay. And so we're seeing that pick up dramatically. Um, and so the, the adoption and the usage is actually very good. And when we look at our numbers, the customers who use it see the benefit and they use it a lot. And the things that people are doing on there are primarily paying merchants. Okay. So you can use Paga to pay your DSTV, GoTV, Swift. You know, if you shop online at sites like Deal Day, you can use it to pay, to pay Deal Day. Um, and there's about 800 or so small businesses that have signed up to use Paga to collect collect payments. Um, as I, you know, 
I just had lunch before I came in here, and I actually paid at that restaurant using, using Paga as well. So merchant payments is the number one transaction center okay. we're seeing. The second is money transfer. Okay. The ability to send money to anyone in Nigeria who has a mobile phone number. Okay. And the ability to send money to any bank account in Nigeria instantly, real time. Um, and we've actually, we only just came out with that um, at the so, end of So last you can month. actually send money to a bank? You can send money to a bank account instantly okay. and it gets credited. Anybody's bank account, not just yours? Any bank account in Nigeria. Once you know the, the Nubin, 10, 10 digit Nubin number, okay. um, and it gets credited instantly. And you can do all of these transactions. So for, for those sure. that don't understand, what is a Nubin number? Um, Nubin, sorry to use technical terms. Um, so Nubin essentially is a new 10 digit uh, numbering bank system number, that okay. the central bank has come up with for bank accounts. Okay. So once you know the bank and you know the 10 digit account number, um, you can send money on Paga to. And that's all you that need account. to know, just the bank's name and the, 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 and the, the new bank number. number. Correct. Number. Yeah. Okay. And, um, and then the last transaction that people also do is buying airtime. But by far, um, because with airtime, you can buy airtime on any network and you can also send airtime to anybody. So it's okay. not just about buying for yourself. Okay. And you, well. you need to know the person's phone number, I guess. All you need that? is their phone number. Okay. Now, how do you get a Paga account? To get a Paga account, there. Um, there are two main ways you can do it. You can either register by yourself, okay. um, or you can go to one of our agents. And we have about 3,300 agents in 250 towns and cities across Nigeria, 25 states. Um, I'm sorry, 150 towns and cities, 25 states. So what, we, what you can do is if you go to the agent, you basically need a name and a phone number, okay. and they register you. If you're registering by yourself, you can register on your phone using SMS, or you go online to mypaga.com okay. and register. It's a quick process. Um, as I said, all you need is a name and a phone number to get going. Now, the beauty of Paga is that you don't have to be registered with Paga to use Paga. Okay. You can go to any of our agents and transact without registering. Um, similarly, if you're sending money to somebody or buying airtime for them, they don't have to be a Paga customer. Okay. So but you but then how do you get money yes. onto your Paga account? Once you're, once you're registered, you can deposit money into your Paga account in three ways. You can either go to any of our agents and give them cash and your phone number, and they'll immediately put it into your Paga account. You receive an SMS message while you're standing there saying the money has been credited into okay. your Paga account with your new account balance. Okay. Um, or you can go to any one of eight different banks, deposit money, notify us, and we credit your Paga credit okay. your Paga account. So you're, you're, you're depositing money in Paga's into, name? In Paga's name. Into Paga's account. Correct. Okay. Correct. And, um, and then the final, final way is if you have a bank account, you can use your debit card okay. online on mypaga.com and you can fund your Paga account instantly as well. Okay. All our transactions you can do by SMS. So you don't need a smartphone, uh, you don't need a Blackberry, you don't need a, you know, Android, uh, Techno, and nothing fancy. A simple Nokia phone um, works. Okay. We're going to take a, a, a quick break now. Sure. And when we come back, we'll talk about how can mobile money improve the economy of Nigeria. Sure. So stay tuned. We'll be back in a moment with our discussion on mobile money. mostly um, the market will market us because why marketers don't have time they are already they are in the market really, um, selling and by the time they will want to come out they, they most of the time the bank is closed and everything and they can't leave their market for someone else to look at look after so most of the time they come at night to deposit into their, their account and, some, and for those that use ATM, they get the money anytime they want. The bagger also is working on the ATM part of it so that any money you do or keep, you can also withdraw with your ATM. But um, also, uh, work, um, corporate workers, uh, they also benefit because um, a lot of them are so busy that they can't um, do the DSTV. We 
with the inter switch, they get um, or they get under now removed. Some people say, ah, you know, they want to do a lot of transaction. Why we are paying this, pay that? They've been paying bills with us. Everything is free. So when a lot of them knows about it, they come around. But I think uh, mostly what I what I feel people that I know that benefit mostly is our marketers and uh, mechanics, all these people. Do, um, in my area, there are not much banks like other areas, but um, uh, and uh, the ones that are there, the money is so much that a lot of them don't know how to start open an account with them, e.g. Zenith Bank and Co. So. A lot of people want to bank, they want to send money, but they can't do that because why? There's no bank, their bank around. So with that, it has really been helpful. Every mobile money agent will tell you, our packer agent will tell you what is one of the greatest enemy of mobile money is network. Network is a lot of time you make transactions and because of a slow network you double send the account or the money and in trying to make your customer understand that <clears throat> so I'm sending this in once I send it twice you have to convince them make them understand that you are not paying for one more you're paying for two more welcome back to the heart of the matter where we're talking with mr. Tayo Viosu about mobile money. He is the CEO of, of Pagat. Uh, Tayo. Yes, sir. Now, most people worry about hackers on mm -hmm. the internet yes. getting into their systems, yes. breaking in and getting information of, sure. of servers and so on and so forth. How does Paga mm -hmm. provide a secure environment yeah. for people to manage their money? Pastor, this is a great question. Um, and, you know, security is our number one concern at Paga. Um, we, the way we approach security is it's not black or white. We put in rings of security on various aspects of our platform, um, both internally and externally. Now, um, what we do fundamentally from the customer's perspective is we say to you, every customer needs a PIN number to transact on Paga, whether you're using it on your phone or online. Um, in fact, if you're using it online, you need additional security. security. You need your username, you need a password, and we actually monitor what device you're coming from. Okay. So if we see you coming from a device that we've never seen before, we actually query you and so, make sure that we, it's who, you, it's who so, we know. So when you, when, you, when you register yes. uh, with Paga, when yes. you load money in, you note the device that is being we, used? We are monitoring what, what, what device is being used. Okay. Um, and, and so what we do is we tell the customer, if you keep your PIN number safe and secure, our guarantee to you is your money will be safe. Okay. And we'll take full liability for that. Um, so by full liability, you mean? Yes. By full liability, I mean if, if, if for any reason the Paga system is hacked, we will be responsible for it. Okay. Um, and and, and we'll, we'll take liability for, for that. But For anything spent? For, for any loss. Okay. Any loss. Okay. Now, um, what we've done on our side, to be able to give that kind of guarantee, is, yeah. is, is you can trust that we have done a lot and continue to do more around how we protect our systems okay. and how we ensure that no one can actually hack into hack okay. into that system. Are people trying? I'm sure there are people who are trying of numerously to, to try and break in as they do to any, any bank. But, um, but this is a key aspect of the CBN's regulatory framework mm -hmm. to ensure that A, the monies in the system are protected mm -hmm. for the customer um, and that we monitor security very, very seriously. Mm -hmm. And uh, fortunately for us, to date, we haven't had any security security breaches. J just to show you the extent that people go to, mm -hmm. I remember that a couple of banks in the United Kingdom had people come in posing as as uh, computer engineers. Yeah. They installed a yeah. remote something. Yeah. Um, so, so what about security internally? Yes. No, it's actually an interesting point. Um, one of the things that we are doing is we actually have an ethical hacker okay. um, coming in from, formerly used to work at, uh, I think, MI5 in, in the UK. Okay. Who is um, who is you know her role is to is to try and hack into our system and see okay. if there are any any gaps. Um, the systems internally are protected you know with a lot of different access points and and roles and we monitor what people have access to. 
very few people I don't have access to to most to most of the secure things. Now, what if somebody lost their mobile phone? Yeah. If you lose your mobile phone, everything's fine. Just notify us, and we would um, we'll lock your account. But the good thing is nobody can use your money because you need your PIN number. Okay. So in even when you transact by SMS on Paga, we never will ask for your PIN number by SMS because it will be in clear text on your phone. Mm -hmm. Um, and so similarly, we'll never even ask you any ever for your PIN number. So that's one of the things we, a lot of things so that we have to train customers. So PIN number is known only to PIN number should be customer. known only to the customer. You should never give it out. And this is true not just of Paga, but any PIN number. You should never give your PIN number out. That's the number one way you protect yourself. Um, and so what we do is, as long as you have your PIN number, your money is safe with us. Okay. Now, going a little further from yes. that, I remember when the uh, mobile service, uh, mobile telephone yeah. uh, service providers came yeah. on the scene. Yeah. A lot of people benefited. People that that sell um, recharge cards, recharge yeah. cards, yeah. and so you find people's economy is changing. And there's exactly. even one mobile company. I don't think I can mm. mention their name uh, who, that has an advert where mm. the woman is saying, "My husband died, and then mm. they gave me this booth, mm. and, and my life changed." Mm. What life-changing way yeah. would Paga yeah. affect the Nigerian economy. I'm, I'm, I'm glad you asked this because truly what is driving myself and my co-founder and our core team is the ability um, or the desire to make a real change in Nigeria. Um, and if we're half as successful as we think we'll be, we would have achieved that. Our mission is to transform lives by delivering innovative universal access mm -hmm. to financial services. And, and a key aspect of that is, is creating the service points in local communities mm -hmm. where people can access financial services. And those service points are agents. Um, grocery stores, pharmacies, where we're bringing additional services, additional food traffic, um, increased revenue. Um, and what we are seeing with our agents today is that they're already hiring people. So they're creating jobs and they're already making money from the system. And so what it's doing, and that's just the direct, sort of the direct impact. So agents creating jobs, having more opportunity, um, and hiring other people. And as you know, in Nigeria, for every one adult who's working, you have about four adults, depending, depending. on them. So the impact, we actually believe that from that impact, we can bring financial access to about 50 million people. And we think um, a key aspect of growing any economy is access to finance. Um, and you know, and, and every company at different stages of the economy needs different types of access to finance. And so we are addressing a certain aspect of it. One of the key products that we recently came out with is Paga Savings. Okay. What Paga Savings allows you to do, and this is currently only in Lagos, and currently only in um, our agents. What it allows you to do is to save money um, in a defined way. So I want to save money for an event, say my, my child's school fees, or I want to save for a wedding, whatever the event may be. And you tell us how much, how, how much you want to save and how long you want to save for, three months, six months, or a year. And it's free to put your money in, free to get your money out. And after you've saved um, for more than 5,000 naira, you get free life insurance. So what does this do for the economy, right? So you can imagine the woman who is in the market, who is selling tomatoes, right? Um, and every day she's selling tomatoes, trying to make a living for her family. Um, unfortunately, which is the story of Nigeria and I think most African countries, is women are the better savers, right? Um, not unfortunately, but it's, just, it's unfortunate it's just the reason why. Well, the reason why is because a lot of times the men will take the money from them and, and go use it for other things. And so she doesn't want to go home with that money. Right? Because if she goes home with the money, the money is probably not going to be used for the right purpose. She just walks into a Paga agent, can save the money, and go home. And when the money has reached the goal that she has set out, she can get it back. Um, and God forbid something happens to her, she's also now created a nest egg for her family. Um, and so when we think about our business and we think about our offerings, we think about it from this perspective that you, you sort of started on, which is, how do we impact lives? How do we do something that is beyond just offering a service for the sake of the service? Um, and how does it fit into people's lives? So I think the way, the many ways mobile money and what we're doing will impact society, but the direct ones I think are, it's gonna create additional revenue streams for people, for businesses, it's gonna create jobs, it's going to bring 
services to the mass market in a way that no one has been able to achieve before. Um, and I think fundamentally that's going to help raise people out of poverty. And the convenience. The convenience is, is phenomenal. So I can and walk into a shop. You can walk into a restaurant as I did today, have your lunch, and I paid right there by going online to mypaga.com. I selected the name of the restaurant and I paid them. I could have also paid them by SMS. Um, I didn't have any cash on me. Okay. Yeah. You know the fear that many people have is, yeah. you know, especially with um, debit cards, sure. is that if they walk into the, the establishment yes. and the, the, the merchant yeah. and the system is down, Mm, and yes. they didn't take cash with them, what exactly. happens? Exactly, what happens? It, it's, it's easier with Paga because it's m less likely that the system yeah. will be down than it is with, uh, you know, sure. POS. Sure, uh, with POS terminals. terminals. You know, it is, um, it is po always possible that some system is down. Um, I think with us, the, the beauty of it is that we work on all mobile networks. So, in fact, I normally I have two phones. I have two different networks with me. And any one of them, I can use the same Paga account. So you can link five numbers to, to one the account. same one account. So if I walk in and one network is down, I use the other one and I'm fine. And the, and, and the other benefit of Paga, whether it's in-person paying or online paying, I don't have to give my debit card to the merchant. Okay. So I don't want them to know my card details. Okay. So as you know, Paga, I trust Paga, I put my details there and Paga is protecting me and it's giving me this guarantee. Um, but then I can go and pay the merchant without putting my card details okay. in. One question that arises from what you t said about yes. savings is mm -hmm. if you saved, if you had a savings account in the bank, yes. you get interest. Yes. Do you get interest when you save with Paga? Yeah. Our current savings product, you don't get interest. Okay. What you do get is, um, we think is better than interest, um, once you save 5,000 Naira, you get free life insurance, 10x your savings for the next month. So okay. every month you have at least 5,000 Naira in, you get 50, you know, at least 50,000 Naira worth of life insurance okay. the next month. So God forbid something happens to you in the next month, your family gets 50,000 Naira, no questions asked. Okay. Yeah. That's, that's, that's wonderful. Um, just one last question. Sure, sir. Where is Paga going yeah. with the technology that is increasingly becoming yeah. available? You know, the, um, we're very excited about the future. Um, there's a lot of things that we're working on in what we call Paga Labs, um, which is our innovative uh, way of thinking about solutions for, for people. Um, we actually own this platform 100%. We develop it ourselves. Okay. So we're very proud to say that we're African purely. Um, and, you know, where we are going is we want to be, um, you know, we want to be the quote-unquote financial services of bank to, to all Nigerians, whether you're currently banked or not. Um, the goal is to bring a greater convenience to you, allow you to access your cash from anywhere, help you handle everything around your finances, whether as an individual or as a business. You know, um, again, I'll go back to the example I just had. I was talking to the, to the lady who owns the restaurant I was at now, um, and it's actually part of a hotel, you know, and she's already been accepting Paga at the restaurant. And I said, you know, you have a website, we should also put it there. And the beauty of it for you would then be, you know, any transaction that's going on, you have one place to see mm -hmm. all your transaction history, mm -hmm. to get settled your money in the bank, mm -hmm. and if there are any issues, call us. You know, one person. So I think the greater the convenience that we will bring all types of businesses um, and individuals as well um, is phenomenal. And I think we're just at the beginning of this. Um, I'm very excited about where we are today and where the future holds. And I think, you know, my hope is that when I think of Paga for myself, what I would love us to be able to do is to leave behind something greater than, than, than us. Um, and something, when I think about Coca-Cola and the person who started that, and you know, hundreds of years later, it's still around. You know, um, that's the kind of impact I, I hope that we will have. Well, we we, 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 we uh, pray with you that uh, Paga will still be around generations to come. Thank One you. last thing is, I now have a phone yes. that recognizes my fingerprint mm. and unlocks the phone. Yes. Um, now, could that replace a PIN number someday? Absolutely, it can. Um, you know, everything around biometrics uh, is possible. The key issue on biometrics is, is the cost factor and, and bringing okay. the cost down. So once the cost comes low enough that you know, it's accessible to everyone, yeah. um, it can. The technology growth is, is phenomenal. Amazing. It's phenomenal um, in terms of what you can and can achieve, yeah. Well, Tayo, it's, it's been great having you and 
come to the heart of the matter to educate us on, on mobile money. Um, viewers, we'll be back again next week with another episode of the Heart of the Matter. Until then, stay blessed. <laughs>